Let's talk about privacy as a service with this listener question on this bonus episode of The Business of Tech. A question from Mark, who's a Patreon supporter. I'm wondering if privacy as a service is the coming business model due to all the legal changes that are happening. For example, and here's one in California. He shared a link. Is this like the early stages of security? Will we see lawsuit ransomware like we had with ADA shakedowns from unethical law firms? Happened a lot in California where they sent up people in wheelchairs to use the bathroom in businesses, and then the business got a $5,000 demand letter a few days later stating their bathroom was an ADA compliant. So let's talk privacy as a service. I'll start with the fact that there's something very strange about selling your privacy back. Privacy is something I have and maybe not pay for. I wouldn't name it privacy as a service if I was going to market. That said, let's break down what Mark means. At the core is the idea of a service where a provider helps customers manage the risk associated with their data. That sounds a lot like data governance, which as defined in Tech Republic is, quote, data governance dictates how an organization manages its data throughout its life cycle from acquisition to disposal, as well as all the different modes of usage in between. Though data governance involves tooling, it's much more than that. It also involves the processes people must follow to ensure the security, availability, and integrity of data. Data governance sets clear standards for data processing while improving the quality and consistency of data within your company. And they include a guide for understanding what makes good data governance. Gardner then has four steps. First, define a clear set of adaptive data governance principles. Second, establish accountability decision rights across organizational areas. Third, apply the right adaptive governance style to your business scenario. And fourth, sustain adaptive governance by basing your governance operating model on it. That sounds like the core of what we're looking for to address the scenario outlined above. If there were principles on what data is stored and why, accountability for decisions, a clear set of policies, and ongoing management of those policies and data, it would be reasonably straightforward to see how this would be done and logical to extend that out as a service. Inputs to the service would include business plans being enacted, the applicable laws for the jurisdiction and industry, the right tactics to handle it day to day, a process for managing it and appropriate tools and a security model to apply. Bringing in the legal angle adds the area of compliance too. Compliance is, at a superficial level, another view of this space. I do want to link to cybersecurity here. In July, I covered Jen Easterly, the head of Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, on reevaluating whether to call cybersecurity something else altogether. She cites the push from tech investors Ron and Cindy Gula, who have advocated instead for calling it data care in job postings to evoke the concept of healthcare and thereby make it more relatable to women in communities of color who might be turned off, turned off by the term cybersecurity and its evocation of war and law enforcement. Data care and data governance would go hand in hand. The protection of the data generally. Which leads to the service component. Roll this all together. A service that includes protecting the crown jewels of any business, the data. It would include data governance, compliance, care, and roll-in access control as fundamental. I'm not sure this is like the early stages of security. I think this is all part of the early stages of security, which isn't necessarily a mature offering. Plus, this data governance piece is too closely linked to security, and you can't offer it without addressing security. Now, is this going to be a good offering? Most definitely. It's probably also available standalone. A customer would likely want to buy this regardless of any other offering. And that's an excellent place 
to be offering services. Thanks for watching this bonus episode of the Business of Tech. If you like what you heard here, hit that like button and hit subscribe. It really helps, and I appreciate the time that you do that. Additionally, if you want to have a conversation, write something in the comments. I read them all, and dialogue is the point. I don't necessarily claim to be right. I do want to make sure that we've engaged correctly. If you really like this content, you can find it daily on the Business of Tech podcast. Go to businessof.tech, click the big blue subscribe button, and find the podcast on whatever podcatcher you like to listen on. It's available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, or wherever fine podcasts are found. And if you want to help with the content delivery and you want to get access to things early, I've got a Patreon. You can support me directly. Go to patreon.com slash MSP radio, and it's give what you want. You set the value of the content and help me make this kind of delivery on an ongoing basis. Thanks for listening, and I will talk to you again soon. Thank you.